We're just excited about all the program success. And we're ready to get started. Thanks, Zach. Go Cards. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. It's time for another edition of the Christy Benner Show. Currently joined by Wheeling University head volleyball coach Christy Benner. And Christy, girls are coming off a big win off West Liberty last night. Took four sets. Talk about the match overall and kind of how your girls fought out there. Yeah, I think uh, we fought hard to come back after that first set loss. And uh, I'm real proud of them for doing that. West Liberty always plays us tough and is a uh, really good opponent in our league. So uh, I was pretty proud with the win. And you mentioned that first set loss. Talk about the conversations you guys had after that set and how they were able to kind of bounce back. Well, you know, at first it's a little anxious. And you, then you settle in and you say, okay, we need to do this, this, and this better. And they just rose to the occasion. And one of the position changes you made, Samantha Comer going from outside hitter to middle blocker, and she's really excelled in that role. Talk about her and kind of how she's taken on that position. Right. Well, she was very, uh, you know, not hesitant at all when we talked to her about it. We just threw her in and had some practices in, and we loved her speed. We loved her, uh, in, you know, intelligence up there, and it gives us a chance to make her more dynamic and maybe make some of our other players uh, more dynamic too, so... And since we last talked, a lot of milestones have gone by. Riley Kendall gets her 1,000th kill. Maddie Winters gets her 1,000th kill. You've got your 700th win. Talk about these different milestones and what it's like to kind of celebrate all these accomplishments. Right. You know, we never like to put too much uh, emphasis on, you know, a single milestone or whatever. But it really makes me proud that, you know, our players can get those milestones. And I do know that those milestones do not come without a full team and winning and doing the things that we're doing every day. So it, it is kind of a team thing that we uh, look at. Currently joined by Wheeling University head volleyball coach Christy Benner. And Christy, you mentioned a whole team effort. Over these last couple of matches, you've gotten a lot of your depth in off your bench against some of these teams. Talk about what it's like to get those players some opportunities who might not normally see the floor. Right. I think, you know, our team practices hard day in and day out and we have a lot of great players that and young players that we need to get something out of them so whenever they're going into a game they're ready they know that uh, they are to be ready to go at any moment and perform at a high level so uh, we train them and practice so they know what to do when to go in and uh, how, you know how to score and and how to keep the momentum going. And looking at the MEC North Division as a whole, it's really tight. You, Fairmont State, and West Liberty were all tied heading into last match. Talk about the competition in the division. Right. I think that the North is always, uh, you know, a very strong division. And, you know, with Frostburg coming on and, and uh, Fairmont and West Liberty always tough, and you add Point Park in there, we're just, uh, you know, lucky to get some of these wins early. So when we see them again, you know, that will be more seasoned and hopefully can steal a couple of these wins on the road as well as home. And now it's time for our random question of the day for the Christy Benner Show. And Christy, we're going to center around your accomplishment. You obviously got your 700th career win a couple of weeks ago. What would you say is your kind of favorite coaching moment that stands out over these years here at Wheeling? Oh, my goodness. I have so many coaching moments, but I will say I have probably three or four that are really important to me, and I feel that one is – our first regional championship at Cal PA in 2011 was very special. Obviously, our national championship, uh, you know, the, the game point, the final game was tremendous. And I also feel that the 2019 team and that season is one of my favorites. And I feel like those moments in that year uh, will stand out for a long time. So I feel like those three are kind of like, the top but I'm sure I have more and finally you guys are going on the road for two matches this weekend with Wesleyan and Davis and Elkins talk about how your team handles these back-to-back -back games here in this weekend I feel like we haven't uh, traveled for a while and played back-to-back -back like that so uh, it's going to be a task for us you know we got to get in the bus and travel down um, on Friday and play a uh, Western Union Westland team that is hot this year and doing some really good things and and uh, everybody knows it's hard to play on the road and and then you go to D and E. You hope to get some rest and play at Davis and Elkins the next day, and and uh, hope that you can put together two performances that are good. Thanks, Christy. Good luck this weekend. Can't wait to see you out there. Thanks a lot, Zig. For Wheeling University Athletics, I'm Zach Ziegler. We're just excited about all the program success. And, and we're ready to get started. Thanks, Zach. Go Cards.